what is going on guys kez plays here today we are going to be starting a new series on the forest uh, if you didn't already know this is like a survival game and you start on a plane and the plane crash lands and you sort of goes from there and um, you've got to try and find supplies and make your way around the island and find loads of little things uh, there's stuff hidden all around the map but i'm sure we will find some of that stuff on our way through um so let's go ahead and start a new game so i have actually played this game before but i've done it on multiplayer with two people and it's just not the same as doing it solo it's kind of not not cheating but it's not not the same difficulty i thought this this would be quite fun to record for youtube so let's wait for this to load in so yeah this is the uh this is the plane that i was on about Can't really see much out the window, but it looks like we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Timmy actually has the worst hairline on the planet. This is Timmy, by the way. You'll find out what happens to him shortly. Let's have a look at this. That Timmy's got on his hand, oh, on his table even. Oh, how handy, a survival guide. Cheers, Timmy. He's actually an artist as well. I don't know if you can tell. Oh shit! Hold on, Timmy! You're gonna be just fine, boy. Jesus. I think everyone could have survived that crash to be fair, that wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Okay, hello. Nice haircut bro. Yeah, it's alright, you just take Timmy. I'll wait here, I'll have another sleep. Yeah. Right. So, it's the morning. Those are Timmy's pictures on the floor, so we'll go ahead and grab this axe before anything. This is probably the most useful tool in the game, obviously, before you start finding more things. Um, before you start sort of making your way around the island, it's a good idea to pick up all these things inside. Some, there's some useful uh, supplies inside here. Um, I think that's everything. Also guys, let me know about the uh, audio quality on this. Um, I'm using a new pair of headphones. I will shortly be getting um, a blue snowball, so just bear with me. Bang. Um... So just as you come out of the plane, there will be these suitcases that you can take items from. Just smash them with your pickaxe or axe or whatever it is. And take these straight out. Now there are a few scattered around in places that you won't find until you sort of start making your way uh, away from the plane. You can see there's one down here. So I think in this episode we will we'll get a base built and we'll get set up for the night. I think we're going to aim to build on the coast, so yeah, we should probably set off soon before it starts getting dark. We'll get a few sticks and little supplies that we need for a campfire first. Put those up. Right, I think we're full on sticks now. Um, have a suitcase here. Let's see what we've got. So, booze is actually really helpful towards the end of the game. You can make things like, well not towards the end of the game, but as you get into it, you can make things like molotovs and flaming arrows and stuff like that. Boom. Oh, Jesus Christ, how many suitcases? Snacks. 
think that's everything. If we've missed any, we can always come back to this plane. It doesn't despawn. In fact, the stuff will actually respawn eventually. So you can just keep coming back every now and then through the game if you're low on supplies. Little, uh, little forest hack for you there. You probably already knew that, but it is what it is. Um, so we're actually in a really good spot here because we are right next to the yacht. Um, there are some pretty good supplies on here. I'll just fill up the rest of our snacks and soda, hopefully. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Now, you'll find things like rocks and sticks everywhere. Um, it is really useful to grab these because if you ever need a fire uh, and to cook food, then you can do that. Make our way to the boat. I think I think the sharks in this game. I know there's crocodiles, but I've heard that the sharks as well. I've never encountered one yet. I know there's some on the beach down there. Let's pick up some of this. Oh, one more down here. Rope is also really useful because we will probably build a tree house. Um, so we're just a little bit safer from from the uh, I want to say mobs. More like cannibals. They are mobs, but we'll say cannibals. So take those air canisters. Uh, those will be useful for a rebreather. Cool little ornament on the table here. He's got a fork in his mouth. Nice. Cool. What's this? Salt and pepper? Two peppers. No salt. What a letdown. Um, you can actually save and sleep inside it. It's, um, it's quite cool that you can do that because it's a safe place if you're struggling to find anywhere. So what we'll do is we'll just save over this one. <clears throat> I've got quite a few saves but they don't really lead anywhere. This is the uh, first, first proper save that I'll have. Don't think. Oh. Okay, someone likes yachts. It's strange that you find that on a yacht. I don't expect that. Like I said, I don't think there's sharks. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Let's get some of these. Is he dead? No? Okay. There we go. Oh, we actually killed the other one then. I don't know how that happened. So, with these turtle shells, you can do some pretty cool things. So you can either use it for a water water collector and it sort of just picks up the rain. Um, or you can use it to slide down hills. And I've seen people glitch down the sinkhole with these uh, with these shells, but I think it may be patched now. We're not going to be doing any glitches though. We're going to be we're going to be doing it right. Pick up all this stuff. Like I said, always keep collecting things from the suitcases because it's it's free items. You'd be you'd be stupid not to. Uh, batteries are also really useful for. Uh, you can grab a torch. We'll probably find it further in the game. Okay, so this must be the grave for the yacht. Looks like it to me. Right, I think just because of the supplies on the beach and inside the yacht, it might actually be a good idea to build up here. I've always sort of built further up towards that direction, but well, let's have a couple of drinks, get some hunger up. And instead of wasting these snacks, we'll actually use this raw meat. We'll cook that on the fire because snacks are useful when you go down cave systems. 
obviously you, you haven't got time to cook food down there so it's useful to have these things um i think this looks like a good tree to build on so what we'll do is get our crafting menu up if you didn't already know you press b and we will start crafting a tree house um so you can build an alpine tree house this looks cool but there's no bed in it so you'll have to kill rabbits to make a bed and that can be a pain so we'll build this tree house here because on this one you can actually sleep in it and save it here we go Let's put the rope on and what i'll do is i shall collect some logs i'm not going to bore you guys and we will skip to when the uh, tree house is basically done so yeah i'll see you soon guys okay guys so we are back and as you can see we have actually finished the log cabin so or the should i say the tree house um and as you can see it's actually turned night so it's been a it's been a fair while it's taken taken some time to chop down these trees um i think the main culprit for that is probably going to be this axe to be honest it's a bit slow so yeah finish the tree house i'll just show you guys inside it's nothing special Um, so it's literally just this corner and apparently your guy just sleeps on the floor which we will do in a second but I'll just show you around, around the outside of the base so you can see all these stumps where I've cleared cleared these trees up um, so we've got it in quite a good place it's on the coast and we can also fish you can't really see let's get my lighter out on this pond here so yeah I think next episode what we're going to do is we'll fortify the base we'll actually put some walls around the outside and i won't bore you guys with chopping down all the logs again and we will actually make an axe next episode as well so we can get doing that more efficiently um the custom axe actually does use more more stamina just because it's heavier and it's it's a bit more of a brutal weapon and rather, rather this one is it's more like streamlined and it's small and light but obviously the downside to this one is it takes so long to chop down trees. Um, I've also built a little log holder because we had one left over and no one likes wasting logs because it is a pain to chop them down. So yeah, next episode we'll build a big wall around the outside. We'll also put some stones around the outside of that as well. Um, we're not going to finish all that in one go. It'll be like a passive thing, the stones. But like I said, I won't bore you. We'll skip to the end once I've built it and you guys can see what the base actually looks like so that's it for this episode if you did enjoy it make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon and then you'll be able to see the future uploads for this series in future um, and that'll be a very good shout because we have got some good content coming up and um, i think at some point as well we will start searching through the caves and find some cave entrances for you guys because um there is some cool things down there so yeah We'll just save it here. In fact, we'll go to sleep first. Save it. And we'll just override that one. Okay, it's morning. So, next time I see you, uh, like I said, we'll get working on the walls. And that should be it for now. So, yeah, make sure you hit that bell icon and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. See you later, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.